Welcome to our introduction to uh, RFID tagging of subsurface asset managements. In our, uh, our depiction here you can see our tag attached to our rod attached to a pipeline below ground. The tag itself is uh, you're able to tag information to that chip relating to burial depth, the owner of the chip, as well as latin long. It's robust in that you're also able to attach information to the cloud, which is endless in its ability to store whatever you'd like. The, the third part about the tag is you're able to locate this from above ground utilizing a number of different items. One being the RFID tag reader, the second being a GPS handheld unit, the third being a phone application utilizing Google Maps on Android phone. And then the final method of being able to locate is a metal detector. This slide here depicts our cloud-based storage opportunities, um, which are quite frankly endless and are completely open to your imagination. This allows you storage of unlimited size, as well as you're able to add this cloud-based information after the tag is actually buried in the field. Some of the examples of things you can add are underground storage tank schematics, survey plans, survey information, well bore information, drone pictures, video, uh, safety policies, and it can be upgradable without going back to the field at any time. In this slide we're depicting our stoplight approach to our rods. If you're re-excavating along an existing buried chip, the rod will assist you to get back to the asset green representing green to uh, okay to dig, yellow representing warning we're getting close to the pipe within 90 centimeters and red depicting you're now within 60 centimeters and you have to stop excavating with any mechanic mechanical equipment. The, the pictures on the right depict the three different methods we can attach to a pipe either with a strapping mechanism on the bottom with a plunger uh, attachment which we would use for in an application with hydrovac exposures and then the javelin tip on the top which we would utilize in an offset scenario so that therefore we're reducing any any integrity related issues by uh, offsetting the tag from the buried asset. In this slide, we're depicting what uh, varying, varying chip uh, rod and rod orientations may look like when attached to varying depth assets below the ground. As you note, the chip will be buried in a common burial depth of between 50 and 80 centimeters. Smart rods, why are they important to you as a consumer? First of all, it's going to improve the, the accuracy to your bro, below ground infrastructure to the millimeter accuracy. It's going to reduce contaminated hydrovac slurry. It's going to reduce the cost to daylight below ground infrastructure. It's going to reduce line locating costs, no more of these two and three line locates. Most importantly, it's going to save lives. In your, in your ground disturbance practice, you're going to become safer, you're going to eliminate risks, you're going to keep your employees safe from harm, and you're not going to become front page news. In the ground disturbance business, as an owner, you want to ask the question, where are you prepared to draw the line?